everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to look at TradingView's replay mode. This is a particularly useful tool if you are backtesting your strategy because it allows you to go back in time and really look at whether your strategy would have played out in the long term but as if it was a live chart. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. What I will say is the amount of functions you can have using this tool is really dependent on the plan you've got. So trading view limit the amount of bars that you can go back dependent on your plan. And I believe that on the free plan, you're only able to do this on the daily chart as well. Um, this is subject to change. So do check the plan listing to find out exactly what's available on each plan and select a plan that is most suitable for your needs. So the way you can start and use the replay mode is you can either scroll back in time to the place where you'd like to start back testing. So you can see that it gives you the date down here. So I can just continue scrolling to get to the date I want to go to. The alternative would be to come down here to this little calendar tool tap that and then I can actually put in a date and time as well and that will take you back to the place where you have selected and want to start testing. Once you are there what you are going to do is come up here and click the replay button so you can see it says bar replay I'm just going to tap that and you'll see this little toolbar appear down here. From here I can just move this blue line to where I want to start testing from. So let's say I wanted to start back testing from here, I can click it there and it will make the chart from that point onwards disappear. So it now looks as if I am trading live, but actually this is the price action that occurred on the 3rd of February, 2023. So you can see how simple it is just to get back to the place where you want to start back testing from. From here, you have a couple of options. So you can start and press play. And if you look at this replay speed option here, you can tap that and select the speed that you want to start and replaying. So if we press play, that's currently in three times and you can see it starts to play price action exactly as it happens. If I want to speed it up and make it go faster, I can come over to here and select the 10 times instead. And you can see that that then starts to move much faster. And again, if I want it to go slower, I can drop it down to half time and that will then continue at a much slower speed. So, you know, it really depends on how intricate your trading strategy is, is how fast you want it to go. But the great thing is, is that it does have options for you there. Now, if we just pause that, what you can see is there are some other options here. So we've got your forward, jump to the real time chart and then we've got jump to which is going to change the date. So if I click the forward button that is going to jump forward one candle at a time without the continuous play mode of the play button. So that's really useful if you have a strategy where okay you've got a very small entry zone and you want to see if it taps it perfectly then that forward button is a really useful tool. In addition to that, if you want to jump back a little bit again, you could just click this button here and you can then go and select for it to jump back to that space. So that's really easy to use if you want to replay some of the price action you've just played. Now, there is another video on utilizing TradingView for placing positions. And so you can see there's sort of a function here where you are able to sort of demo your strategy with sells and buys. So you might utilize that as well and you'd use that in the same way you would if you were live trading. So if you are going to do that, just jump to that video and have a look exactly how to do that. The other option you've got here is to jump to the real time chart. So if I click that, you can see it just brings us back to exactly where we are right now at this moment. So I hope that that's been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.